She was visiting Georgia on the evening of October 31st and was headed back to Tennessee early in the morning on November 1st, 2016. She was coming north on 75 and just never made it home. Do you remember the last time you spoke to her? She was in our drive. Yeah. Steve Eimers can't remember exactly what he said. Huh. He didn't know that conversation it was in our driveway would be their last. We never saw her again. At 17 years old, his daughter Hannah was killed in a crash just across the Georgia border in Tennessee. What a guardrail going through a car will do to a body. Suddenly, Steve says a device meant to guard against danger betrayed his daughter. This product is inherently defective and deadly. A wrongful death lawsuit alleges Hannah crashed into an x light guardrail which then failed to telescope like it's designed to do. Instead, attorneys say it pierced through the car, through Hannah. And the suit argues it wasn't the first time the x light failed. It cuts people in half, it decapitates it, it disembowels them, disarticulates them, and you are literally left to pick up the pieces. We contacted every state's Department of Transportation across the country. 29, including Georgia, said the x light was installed on their roads at some point. Less than a year after Hannah's death, Tennessee began removing them from its highways. It sent out this letter to the Federal Highway Administration saying the state believes the product does not provide adequate protection of motorists based on crashes where the rail penetrated a vehicle cabin. 17 other states followed Tennessee's lead in removing them. Georgia did not, and as many as 300 x light guardrails are still on its roads today. It's just wildly reckless. I cannot understand why they would leave a product on the roadside that they have identified as not performing. The Georgia Department of Transportation declined to comment on camera about why it will not remove the guardrails from Georgia roads. GDOT confirms 300 x lights were sold to contractors in the state. But when we asked where those guardrails were installed, a spokesperson gave us nine known locations. Tracking down the rest, it said, would cost us. How much? $97,000. That's because GDOT doesn't know where all the x light guardrails are. It doesn't keep track. They said they don't have a map of where they're located. Is that a problem? Um, I think that's a big problem. It's, you know, potentially 300 pieces of, of rail that are waiting to pierce a, pierce a firewall and go into a vehicle. And that's too many. Leslie Kroger is an attorney who says her firm filed four lawsuits involving five deaths tied to x light guardrails, including the death of Hannah Eimers. Do you think it's fair to say it's only a matter of time before somebody hits one of these guardrails and gets injured or killed by them like your clients have? Un unfortunately, that is a very real possibility. That possibility could have become a reality for whoever hit this x light guardrail off I-75 in Henry County. We got a copy of a letter sent in 2017. The Federal Highway Administration Georgia Division says the impact on this guardrail was minimal. But had it been more significant, it could have speared the vehicle. We had just not seen that type of failure mode in guardrail in a couple of decades. While Georgia DOT won't talk to us, Tennessee's DOT did. Interstate type uh, high speed, you know, impacts is where we were seeing problems with them, where the speed limit was posted at 45 miles an hour is where we saw that we, we felt that there was a risk out there. And our investigation found multiple x light guardrails on busy highways where the speed limit is 65. Along I-75, we found at least four in Henry County and at least two in Gordon County. While Georgia won't remove them, it's also no longer installing them. No state is, and not just because of these crashes. The X-Lite 
no longer meets safety standards to be on roads. If a product is on the roadway and the safety standard has been risen, why is it still there? Because there's enough evidence in your opinion that these should be taken off the roads. Um, I will say I would, I would not want to drive next to one. Making sure people aren't driving next to one is Steve's mission. But he says he keeps hitting roadblocks trying to get Georgia DOT to remove the X light. I want to be able to say when I get a call from somebody in Georgia, I did everything in my power to stop and prevent what happened to your loved one. And I'm sorry, they didn't listen. They will eventually.